Hello, my name is Jacob Ospisil and I will be talking over here about uh, transfer electron devices which can be abbreviated to TED or also known as transfer electron mechanism. I will be using this EK diagram or EK model of gallium arsenide uh, which is simplified model because gallium arsenide can actually have more valleys than it's shown over here but it is just enough for the to present this uh, this mechanism. So what do we have here? We have uh, the valence band, which is not show in hole. It's sh shown just partially, uh, with the maxima over here where the the holes will be residing, and then we have the conduction band, which is over here. And in this case, it has two valleys, gamma valley and uh, and uh, L valley. So in the normal conditions, let's say in the room temperature of 300 Kelvin, we will have some electrons in the, in the conduction uh, band, which will cause that the, that the semiconductor can actually uh, conduct current uh, in case that the electric field is, is applied. But what happens if we apply electric field, what we will be getting also is that we will be creating more electron hole pairs because these electrons in the valence band will get excited and get uh, transferred to the uh, to the gamma value over here. And if you'll increase the electric field even more, we will have more electrons until we basically reach the maximum of the uh, maximum number of, of carriers. But what happens if we will be increasing the electric field even more? Uh, these electrons cannot really gain uh, any more on any more energy in this valley. So what happens if we go over certain point of the of the magnitude of the electric field is that these electrons can actually jump or they will actually jump over to the to the L valley and actually most of the electrons will will jump over there so and what happens here is that these electrons as we can see on the on the shape of the valleys you can see that this valley has smaller curvature than than this valley and this is really important fact because as we know the uh, the effective mass of the of the electrons uh, depends on the curvature which is represented over here by the second derivative uh, so if the if the curvature is smaller the the effective mass will actually be bigger that means that these electrons that have bigger uh, effective mass which is really related to the to the mobility of the of the carriers so if the effective mass is higher and um, in that case, the, uh, the 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 mobility will be lower, uh, which leads to the fact that the current will be lowered after these electrons actually get transferred over here, because the the current density is dependent on the on the on the drift velocity. Which is directly dependent on the on the mobility. So when these when these electrons actually get transferred to the from the from a gamma valley to the L valley, the, the current start decreasing while we are still increasing the, the electric field. So this is when the when the phenomenon happens uh, that when we are increasing the electric field over a sample of um, of semiconductor we will have increase of the current but at certain point the current actually will start decreasing which is uh, it's basically instability of that semiconductor which in normal conditions it's not desired uh, a quality of the semiconductor but we can use it for uh, producing the uh, the microwave uh, signals, let's say.